What do we have to do this uh, final presentation? Yeah. Okay. The video. All right. Like, what do we want to do? How do we show uh, moments of accountability? Like, I just don't really get it. Are you guys just done with this semester? Me too, man. Yeah. I'm over it. Honestly. Are you drunk? What? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I mean, you did take a trip to Vegas at one point, yeah. you know. So. Can we just focus on what we're supposed to be doing? Yeah, I mean, if I knew what we were doing, I mean, I just... We have, like, two weeks. Why are we even here right now? It's a good point. Like, and to be honest with you, like... It's so nice out today. I just cheated my way through this class, so, like, I have no idea what the avoidance of accountability Where's is. Where's Brittany? Like, she said she would be here, right? Like, this is the most important meeting of the semester? Yeah, she said she was going to be here. Someone call her. Mm -hmm. We've been good with everyone coming. You know... It's like, she doesn't even show up half the time. Like, why are we even here, you know? I don't know why we're here two weeks early. It's fine. It's fine. Regardless, any grade that we get, I'm going to pass the corner. Mr. Efficient over here. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. Where are you? Where are you? Um, I'm in the beach. Where are you guys? On the uh, beach? We're having a team meeting right now. You're on the beach. Oh. I want to be outside right now, but I have to be here. Did you not know we were having a meeting? I taken care of. I thought we sent this in the group text, didn't we, that we were meeting today? Yeah. Yeah, I thought I told you guys I was going to be on the beach. Oh. No. You must have sent it to the wrong group message. Well, it's all right. I mean, I guess we can just go through with the project. I mean, it's fine. No worries. Like, yeah, don't worry about the Yeah, anything. I definitely don't think I can make it. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I'll see ya. Alright, bye. Bye. Well, now we know where she is. On the beach. What a beach. Exactly where I want to be. If I knew being on the beach was an option, like, I would totally be on the beach. I mean, we often went with her. I could oh, easily be on the beach right now. Like, honestly, I'm thinking one about beach. just flying out beach. this weekend one and beach. saying, you guys do the video, like, Seriously. Your nails are like changing colors like halfway. Yeah, that's what they do. <laughs> She's getting nervous. <laughs> no, I'm cold when they're purple. That's interesting. Well, so do you guys just want to like leave? Cause, like, no, no. Just have to do. Pointless. I don't know who's doing what, but um, I'm fine if Brittany does the work. <laughs> All favor right now. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm good with that. You good? You get to do that? You can do that for us? Brittany, come on. You stepped up this whole semester. Step up now. Yeah, I mean, it's a big deal. So you guys don't want to help at all? I mean, I, it's not that I don't want to. I mean, I'll send you my notes or like It's just that I don't need like, to. Yeah. So it's like... I already yeah. calculated my grade. I have like a 98 right now. I can still finish with a C if I just get zeros on everything. So yeah. I don't so really it's care about anything. Either. C's get degrees. <laughs> <laughs> if I would have known that, I could have been on the beach. I mean, guys... I just don't get why she's not here. Well, she's on a beach. That's me. <laughs> who was our team? Because she's a beach. <laughs> who was our point of contact for the team that was supposed to like communicate everything? Me. Oh. I did. And you did? Yeah. Huh. I mean, I got the text. Maybe she just didn't know her role. I don't know. I guess Maybe not. she just doesn't give a shit. That's, that's a possibility. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, guys. I don't open our group text messages, so I'm going to look at it. Dude, me too. Like, I, just, I left the conversation yeah. like week two. Yeah. I what? just would go with it. Uh, I don't know, because we just discuss it here, and then you guys always talk about some baloney stuff. Right. I just, it's just, my phone's already blowing up all the time, so. Honestly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I guess we could maybe just, like, take a break, maybe come back to it, and uh, try to figure it out. Yeah, I'll just stay here and try to figure out what we're going to do if you okay. guys want to take a break. Yeah, honestly, I'm more hungry than I am dedicated to this project. Chipotle? Yeah. Chipotle? I'm in. Chipotle. I'm in. Have a great time. Yeah. Burritos on me! Alright, so Brittany texted me. She said she wants to FaceTime, so I'm going to go ahead and FaceTime her. I know she's still in Florida, but let's just give her a chance okay. to talk. Also, I found this quiz, and I think it'll be beneficial for us, so to kind of determine some roles here. Hey. Hi, Brittany. Sorry I kind of missed the meeting. It's okay. What have you guys discussed? 
Um, we honestly didn't get much done. Yeah, so we're trying to just come up with basic roles, and um, I have a three-question quiz real quick to kind of determine where our group's at, and then we can okay. go from there and kind of set up um, you know, some roles going forward for the finals. So basically, the questions I ask, you can answer with three different options, and I'll take down the number system for you. So answer with okay. infrequently, occasionally, or as a general rule. And if you need me to repeat those, it's basically infrequently, occasionally, and as a general rule. So I'll ask the question and then answer with one of those, okay? Okay. Are we ready? Yep. All right. Yeah. So first question is, team members point out each other's shortcomings or problems, infrequently, occasionally, or as a general rule? Um, I would say occasionally. Okay. And the next question is, team members worry about disappointing their teammates. Infrequently, occasionally, or as a general rule? Infrequently. Okay. okay. And the last question is, team members question and argue with each other to determine tactics and blueprints. Infrequently. Okay. I would say... Can you repeat the last one? Yep. The last question is, team members question and argue with each other to determine tactics and blueprints. Infrequently, occasionally, or as a general rule? Okay. All right. That's really all we need, and uh, we'll text okay. you the role assignment after that. But uh, appreciate your time. Thanks for FaceTiming us in. Have a good Thank time. you. Bye. Have see a good trip. Time. We'll do. Thanks. Okay. See you. Bye. All right. So let's add up our numbers here. There you go. Yeah. I got five. Oh, these are the numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So what did you guys get? Five. I got four. One. No. So. Mason got four. I think on the last I got seven. one. Seven? I don't have mm -hmm. trust in my team. I got a four. Um, got a five. Brittany got a five. Brittany got a five. Trey got a five. Gabby got five. Gabby got a five. And what did you get? Seven. Okay. So from three to five is a blinking yellow light calling attention to this dysfunction. It appears that we have the absence of accountability. Well, makes that sense. makes sense. So let's try to check out some ways that we can overcome. Can you like describe what that means? Yeah, absolutely. So basically, um, goals and responsibilities aren't clear. Um, teammates don't know exactly, you know, what their role is. When there's avoidance of accountability, basically it creates resentment and different performance standards for each person. So sometimes like only one person actually has to do all the work. Um, also, it encourages mediocrity. So basically like subpar performance, low performance or low standards, misses deadlines, deliverables, and also it pushes all the burden onto the discipline leader. And that's probably why Brittany was so frustrated with this earlier, so I'm sorry about that. And that we've been pushing everything on you. And uh, so some ways we can overcome this is basically just making goals and responsibilities clear. And I think based on our strengths, we could do that, I, you know, and um, we can sort of assign some roles in this meeting if you guys wanted to for the final. Is that okay with you all? Okay, yeah. so you want to go around and like talk about everybody's strengths yeah. and then, like make roles based on that? Yeah, I think okay. so. I think that'll be good. So, right. so Brittany, you are obviously the leader because wow. you just She's taking so, so much initiative. You, yeah, you have a team-oriented mind. You want us to get everything done. So I think you should be the leader and help us get everything together and get us started. Likewise, you know, yeah. I definitely push you as the mover in meetings, so you always kind of push the standard forward and the deadlines forward. So I think that maybe deadlines and accountability to those deadlines and performance standards, I think, is a good responsibility that you would fill in your strength. Is that accurate with what you feel? Yeah, definitely. Awesome. So Brittany will put her as team lead for the final project. Okay. And I, uh, are we going around and saying Yeah, we can. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was going to say you. Um, okay. I definitely think Brandon is the most efficient one out of all of us. He oh, will yeah. get, he will make us do the job early and get it done correctly and on time. Okay. So I feel like that's a good role for you. All right. So maybe I can help edit with the video. Oh yeah. 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 Edit and be like an advocate to okay. like make sure that we're on track. Get right. all the marks kind of. I'm fine with that. Really Just make sure that we get. It. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna keep going around. And then. Let's just do other Britney since she's obviously not okay. here right now. Although, 
like she didn't completely reach our accountability goals and like obviously we had problems with accountability too at least she yeah. apologized and she was able to make right. it like she took time out of her own vacation to right. help us so i Thanks. think that like we're getting past that in a way mm -hmm. but for like the project since she's in florida i think that she should be the like unaccountable one like okay. the really unaccountable that makes sense ones. that makes sense Sounds good. And based on Gabby's strength, just I've noticed that you're always an advocate for people too, and you're very empathetic. And one of your skill sets is kindness. I feel like that's one of your strengths. And so I feel like if we do decide to record, you know, the video live, that if you would back up the team lead in that video when we actually do record for the final, I think that would be great as well. Yeah. Okay. So then, anybody else have anything? Uh, for like Trey. Okay. Um, he kind of like pulls like all directions, so he like kind of thinks out of the box, will ask okay. questions that like really need to be hit. Um, so through like the video, like kind of like playing the video and see where we really need to go from there to make sure that we hit like all points of the rubric and okay. stuff like that. Yeah, and another strength that I put for you is humor too. And like yeah. you definitely have that gift of humor and teasing, I feel. You know, and so like for example, when we were about to present, you're like, "Oh, Brandon, that's a pretty good presentation." You know how you, and so I feel like even just playing that, whether it's through a devil's advocate role or just really letting you loose to do whatever you feel is funny or outlandish. I think you role. maintaining your bystander role too. Yeah. You're always asking questions, even if you don't feel like you're like doing the video or talking. You're always like, "What can I do? Yeah. How can I help?" And Which forces us to like think of things mm -hmm. for you to do. And last role would probably be Mason. Yeah. I think the devil's advocate role is great for you. So maybe an antagonist because you've always kept us from the group think and you're not afraid to voice your opinion, which is a great strength of yours and very needed, especially when we're in a group of mainly ISTJs. Yeah. So I think even just being that devil's advocate and just like being the opposer of the way the group is moving will actually be a, a easy role, I feel, for your strength if you agree with that. Yeah, yeah, okay. we can do that. So good. So are we all clear as far as roles for the next video coming up for the final and who's going to do what? Yeah. Awesome. All right, guys. Cool.